Today, I'm breaking down how to build a video editing career in just two weeks. This isn't a hypothesis. One of our Video Production Plus members, my private members community, Flexi, had this to say, I've joined VP Plus three weeks ago. I used the same method that Jack says, and one week ago, I got my first paying client. Flexi's just one of our VP Plus soldiers who's crushing it. Today, I'm going to break down a similar method that Flexi followed that can get you guys work in just two weeks. Without further ado, let's break down the two-week roadmap to land freelance video editing clients. Day one to two, you want to identify your target target market and the type of video editing work you want to do. Ideally, you want to go for something that has a high demand. Shorts content right now has one of the highest demands. Facebook ads and video ads in general also have a very high demand, even though, you know, the golden age of drop shipping maybe was a few years ago. There's still people crushing e-commerce and they all need video ads. The second thing to keep in mind day one slash two is you want to research the industry competition and understand the current trends, the market rates, and the types of services offered. We break all that stuff down in VP+, but again, that's relatively simple stuff. If you want to know what kind of rates people are offering, make an Upwork account as of client and post a job that says, hey, I'm looking for a shorts video editor and just see what kind of proposals come into you. See the quality of work, see the rates that they're trying to charge you. And you're going to get a lot of market research from that. It will help influence your own rates. It will help influence the way that you apply to things. And number three, day one to two is you're going to want to make sure you've got the skills. If you don't have video editing skills, it's going to be very hard to land video editing clients. So if you feel as though you got a little bit of skills, start practicing those skills, start refining those skills. In video production plus, we have a practice project section for this purpose specifically. Now let's progress to the next couple of days. We're talking day three, day four. First thing to keep in mind is you need a portfolio slash a presentation of your work. There's three different options for you right now. First off is you build a landing page. Make a little landing page that looks nice. The more branded and aesthetically pleasing you can have, the better. However, not the end all be all. It really just needs to be a quality presentation of your work. However you do that. Second thing you could try is the video intro. You could sit down and you could pitch to the client. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jack. I edit lots of projects. I edited this recently. I edited this recently. I edited this recently. I'm obviously joking around a bit, but that's kind of what you do. You talk about your services in a one minute pitch video and you showcase B-roll on screen of projects you've recently done. Very impactful, very personal because they can see you. And the third thing you could do is establish a social presence on Twitter, on Instagram. Twitter's perfect for this. You can go onto Twitter, build a brand page and just start posting content on there. You can also search Twitter and say, I need a video editor and you'll get a whole bunch of people who are literally asking Twitter for a video editor. Day five, six, seven, the end of week number one. First point for five, six, seven is you want to reach out to potential clients through email, social media, upwork.com. These are volume approaches. How you do that really depends on you. You could use email, right? And just decide that, you know what? I'm not going to put any real like thought and effort into this. I'm just going to come up with a basic offer, a basic email, and I'm just going to spam it off to as many people as possible. Over a long enough period of time, you send 200 emails a day. You will get responses that way for sure. Maybe not loads, but you will get some. Now, a slight step up from that would be a personalized approach. Now, instead of just sending cold emails, you actually do one to two minutes of research beforehand, open up their Instagram, find out that they had a kid last week, and then you message them and say something that's a bit more personal. Hey, John, wanted to apply to your job. Saw you had a kid last week. I've been helping my sister out with her baby girl. I'm the uncle, whatever the case may be, right? You, you, you have a little bit of relatability, right? You do a little bit of personalization. That's a step up for sure. A bigger step up from that even more is the video intro. You're pitching to them, right? So you're applying to jobs. Jobs. Maybe still cold, but you're using a video intro. Hey, what's up, John? My name's Jack. I'm a professional video editor. I came across your job. Here's something I edited recently. Here's something I edited recently. I've incorporated the video intro, helped me 10x my conversions. It increases conversions insanely. There hasn't been a single person who I've given the idea of the video intro to that's incorporated it that hasn't seen it increase in responses. It's just logical, right? Next up, you guys want to be using freelance websites. This is a great part for volume, right? This is a huge part of the volume approach. I used to wake up, apply to as many jobs as I could every single day on Upwork, right? This was the golden age of Upwork where you could like make a new account every day. They didn't have a verification process. So I'd wake up, max out the applications, wake up the next day, max out the applications on a new account that I just created. Now you can't do that. What happens if you don't have any job track record? You don't have anything. You could use value first. You can go on YouTube, for example, find a shorts creator who's making like subpar content, download their short, edit it up, improve it, go and approach them on Twitter, on email, on Instagram, send them the short and say, hey, here's some value first. I had some time this afternoon. I've been getting so much value from your content. I wanted to repay the favor. I took your video. I made it better. If you want stuff like this on a consistent basis, let me know. If not, keep up the content. Now we're moving into week number two, day one to two. 
Follow up with clients who've shown interest in your services. Follow up with leads and prospects that you might still be talking to or might have shown interest but didn't convert. There's some messages where someone's just being a little bit long. They, they slacked off. They hit you two, three days later, right? I do this to freelancers sometimes as well. So definitely start following up with the jobs that are on the table. Maybe you've landed them. Maybe you haven't. Who knows? Next up, networking. You want to look to network as much as possible, right? The easiest way to do that is to make a Twitter account and start engaging with other video editors on Twitter. You're going to see threads about how to land clients. You're going to see things that are working for people and it will give you ideas. Network, 100%. Video Production Plus, for example. People network in Video Production Plus and land clients. Let's just go ahead and load up another testimonial straight from our wins channel. Let's go, boys. I just got my first completely remote video editing client. He's planning on doing more videos with me and I got him from networking in this Discord. Network is your net worth. We've all heard it a hundred times. It's a cringe saying at this point, but it's true. Definitely try and network. It will definitely land you some jobs and continue improving your skills. Day three slash four. Week number two, if you've done everything we talked about here, you should have a project by now. Start working and make sure you over exceed their expectations at the start. When I had a new client, I would make sure the first project I ever touched, which I think this is kind of common sense, I'd go above and beyond. The first edit they got was like the most nuts thing in the entire world. I would blow their mind away. And then as we start working together, I start refining it and just cutting the fat a little bit. And they don't necessarily even notice that you actually take it from, you know, a 10 to maybe more like an eight, something like that. And it becomes a bit more of a consistent process, right? But whatever the first video I delivered was, it was nuts, out of the park, crazy level edit. I pulled out all the stops and you just solidify that relationship. Once the relationship is solidified, you're not trying to like cut corners and like turn in bad work, but you can automate your process as much as possible. Get presets sorted, start figuring out the easiest way to do each segment. Next up, set realistic deadlines, set realistic goals. If you told the client it's gonna be ready for Thursday, it should be ready for Thursday, especially in the early days. If you've been delivering Delivering on time for weeks and weeks and months and months. And then randomly, you have to go do something and you can just tell them, I'm so sorry. You know, you know, this is not like me, but I've had a family emergency. You've built up a little bit of rapport that you've built up a little bit of social credit. You can now go do something like that. But the first few days and the early days of building with a new client, you need to make sure punctuality is crucial. You need to deliver things on time. Self-explanatory, super important. On to day five, six, and seven, we're now at the end of week number two. You've landed clients. You've got an amazing track record. You're moving in the right direction. And you know what you want to do? You want to ask for review. So the perfect situation here is that you've now delivered your first job and then you say, thank you so much. If you want to continue working together, if you have more projects, that would be amazing. Can you please leave a review? They leave a review. Awesome. You now have ideally a 100% job success score, which is huge ammunition right now that you can go use to offload on new unsuspecting clients and convert them as well. That right there is how to land a client in just two weeks. We're not talking about hypothesis. I sat in my office at 19 to 21 years old and grinded up work every single day for two years. If you enjoyed this video, two things, check out Video Production Plus. I promise you, you'll get value. We're working on the Outreach Masterclass right now. It's going to be hard hitting. It's going to be incredible. If you don't want to join VP Plus, or maybe you're already in it, click this video right here. Promise you, this one's going to give you a hell of a load of value. Click it right now. I'm going to jump off the screen. See you there. Peace.